And, and Krista, in, in your area, in your neck of the woods, given that you have kids that are in advanced programs who are doing dual credit, they're preparing for AP and IB, um, and then you have CTE classes. What have some of those classrooms and experience looked like? And are there any, um, any updates or things that parents should know um, with regards to some of those, those non-core those non -core courses, especially at the high school level? So um, the dual credit courses should be up and running um, through, the, through Canvas. Um, so students are checking their online uh, work and continuing to submit assignments that way. OnRamps has submitted a modified um, a syllabus for that particular course to your high school teacher, and so the high school teacher is helping to distribute that. Um, again, you need to be checking online and submitting your assignments because those um, are continuing to uh, be looked at um, for your college credit as well. So those two things are continuing to roll. CTE is working as best they can, especially for our students who are wanting to uh, do some of their certifications and who have those plans in the work. So um, our teachers and coordinators are working to make sure that you have that opportunity and to see what that could look like coming um, later on in the summer as well. Um, in addition to that, I just want to encourage our families to be checking the SAT and the ACT website as they are still trying to figure out what they're going to do about their June testing and beyond. Right now, there is still some tentative testing um, available in June, but that is all dependent on the testing sites and whether those testing sites will be open. And so I know that there's been some questions that have come through regarding SAT and ACT, and the best place to get that information is on their websites as um, uh, different places and different testing centers um, are closed and um, have not made a decision if they'll remain closed or will reopen before that June site. Um, so that's just kind of a general overview of what we're doing in our area. Um, anything you wanna share from a counseling services standpoint to our, to our families? Absolutely, we know that this is an interesting time for our families, both um, our students and our parents out there. And so the counseling team has been um, working um, hard and diligently, and they are wonderful in providing those services for your students. So they will continue to be able to reach out, make sure kids are registered for next year. But in addition to that, we have some health and wellness section on our parent hub. So if you have not visited our parent hub yet, um, on our website, I encourage you to do so, um, especially for elementary age students, but others as well. Um, our counselors work very hard to put some lessons up there that families can use, some different activities that they can go to, to be able to just kind of work through this stressful and unique moment in some of our lives to make sure that we uh, remain healthy, both not only physically, but mentally as well.